Okay, welcome back, Sweden, to your Caribou Data Science channel. Also, welcome back, Sweden, to your Twitch channel, the Dave's Data Analytic on Twitch. Okay, Sweden, before we get started here, do have a, uh, I just want to remind you to be sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Very important, click the like button because that's that's really what gets uh, Facebook's attention is likes. And finally, click that subscribe button. Share this video with your friends and your family, in, whether they live in Sweden or Swedish folks living outside of Sweden. Sh click on that share button. Share this video on your Facebook and your Twitter account today. You can also copy and paste the link into an email or a text message. So let's begin with Sweden's vaccine rollout data here. So anyway, you can see here, Sweden, you, you currently administered, oh, about 17.05 million cases, 17,050 cases, doses, I should say. And you currently, currently, uh, what, 77.7 million people have been, have received the first shot, but only, uh, well, 7.3 million have received the, uh, have been fully vaccinated, so there really isn't that much difference here. Okay, what about percentage-wise? Well, currently, 75.8% uh, of Sweden's population has received the first shot, and 72.1% have been fully vaccinated in Sweden. So let's just come and take a look at the Sweden's daily numbers here. And I'll, I'll just mention, as you'll see here, Sweden, sometime during the summer, Sweden went from reporting COVID-19 data seven days a week to just four days a week. So as of the, sometime in the summer, you want, they were only reporting COVID-19 data Tuesday to Friday, which means that Tuesday's numbers included Saturday, Sunday, Mondays, and Tuesday numbers. But you know what? As you're going to see, it didn't really doesn't really matter because Sweden, well, some of Sweden's numbers are very good, okay? And some of them are spiking. Okay, anyway, you can see here 2021 cases for Sweden have passed 2020 cases. Now, here's the good news. Sweden is going to end up 2021 with fewer COVID-19 de deaths than they had in 2020. Okay. Now, again, see these spikes? These are the Tuesday numbers. So we don't really know what the numbers were for the, for the week, for all seven days of the week. Okay, so what we look at then, or what we're concerned is this blue line, or this blue trend line. Okay. And you can see they had a really nice spring and summer, a little hiccup here in July. Now, now the numbers, unfortunately, are trending back up. Okay, now this number here has not caught this number. That's, 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 that's kind of my sort of my, my benchmark. If, if, if this blue line passes this number here, that means on average the numbers are, 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 are really are increasing. Because these, some of these numbers here are just, are just uh, weekly numbers or are, are just uh, the Tuesday numbers, okay? So if we look at a 14-day at moving average, you can still see this big spike over here for the 14-day period. And in 12:23, you you were averaging what? 3,818 3, uh, cases per day for the previous seven day, previous 14 day. Now you can see the good news is is that the deaths are still remaining relatively flat. There's a slight hiccup there, but Overall, the deaths have remained fairly low for Sweden, for COVID-19 deaths in Sweden. But you can see uh, uh, for the seven-day period ending December the 21st, Sweden was only averaging 6.1 deaths per day. Okay. Weekly cases. Now, what about monthly cases? You know, these numbers here are, are not hopelessly bad. This is 25,000. But unfortunately, you can see cases are, are trending back up now. December is going to be the second month in a row we saw an increase in COVID-19 cases in Sweden. Now what about deaths? Well look how crazy though their deaths are. One, two, three, four, five months in a row decline here. 
a spike, then one, two, three month in a row decline here. So it's, it's a very good chance that uh, Sweden is going to finish up the year uh, on a downward trend as far as COVID-19 deaths. And again, that's that's the number I want to emphasize. Uh, deaths is a number that really matters when it comes to uh, when it comes to diseases. Okay, you know, it doesn't make it if it was heart disease or the Spanish flu. It's always measured by deaths. So don't be distracted by hospital beds and, and, and uh, you know, booster shots and stuff like that. Look at the deaths, okay? So that concludes the report for Sweden for today. Just wrap this up here. Then, then, we, then we'll finish up with the star of our show, of course, the U.S. Okay, so that does conclude the report for Sweden. I'll be back in this one moment with the with the final report of the day. That's for the U.S.